Today I'm showing you how to create this full face of makeup step by step using only the best drugstore products. Hi, I'm Felix. I'm a professional makeup artist and a celebrity videographer slash photographer and welcome to my YouTube channel. I make valuable and helpful makeup related content for you to elevate your beauty game. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and make sure to click that notification bell to be notified every time I post a makeup video for you. And without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. The first step are your brows and I promise you're gonna love this product. This one is by NYX Cosmetics, the brow glue. It's gonna give you the most amazing laminated brow look that's gonna hold throughout the whole day. I recommend you really get into your brows and brush them in every direction so you really saturate the product and this will make sure your brows will really have that amazing hold that this product is gonna give you. And now that your brows are looking the way you want them to look, you wanna take your finger and you just wanna go over ever so slightly and your brows are gonna look amazing. Before moving on to your next step, you just wanna take any kind of beauty wipe and you just wanna clean the skin around the brow. Your next step to achieve your full coverage, full glam makeup, on a budget is priming. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Stoop and it's by e.l.f. called the Power Grip Primer. You wanna use a pea-sized amount of the product. You can take your finger and you just go over your whole face. Once you have your primer nicely on your face, you just wanna tap over. You can just hear the grip this primer gives to your skin. For your foundation, I love this one by Maybelline the Super Stay 24 hour skin tint. It's natural, but yet still full coverage. Using the Maria Badesco, this is skincare, but still drugstore spray. I'm just gonna spray my beauty sponge. You just wanna blend everything out into your skin and look at this glow, the radiance. This is such a dupe for the NARS foundation. It is providing this glass looking skin, healthy, glowy, rejuvenated, perfect for full coverage or in small amounts for every day to even out your skin tone. But because today we're doing full glam, honey, this is also amazing for that. I go over my eyes to even everything out and you tell me down in the comments, how pretty is this finish? This formula tends to oxidize quite a bit. Your next step is defining your facial features and the NYX Wonder Stick will be a great product. You can see this is a really cool toned shade and therefore you're just gonna look more structured with the right application. I love to go and start underneath my cheekbone and then moving a little bit higher like so. This is really gonna define your face. And underneath your jaw, and because I love to achieve the V-shaped face, I go slightly inwards. So quite a bit, if you can see. And don't forget to go underneath your jaw and behind your ear. This is really gonna define you from all the angles. Depending on your facial shape, I personally, for my face, love to go here to really define my face and make it appear slimmer and just more structured. Contouring your lips is a hack that you're gonna love if you have smaller lips or you just want a more of a pouty and juicy look. So just go underneath your bottom lip and slightly above your top lip. Same for the nose, you wanna start at the beginning of your brow, make a little dot on each side like so. Then you can make a dot here on the side. Same for the other side, underneath. Go over to create a circle and then just connect the parts. And you have this amazing structure once we're gonna blend everything out. Taking the same tools that you have used before, start on the jaw because you don't want harsh lines right here and just go over the whole area and use tapping motions with your beauty sponge. 
and same technique goes for all the other areas. Your face is now pretty structured with the shadow part and more balanced. The next step is to warm it up. So now you want to use a cream bronzer. I truly love this one by Milani. It's really pigmented, so be careful when you're applying it. A little goes truly a long way. You want to start at the perimeter and you want to go a little bit higher than the contour because you want to mimic a natural looking tan and that sun-kissed kind of look. Don't be afraid to get a little sloppy with your bronzer technique because right here, this step, it's not as crucial to be very neat because you want to achieve that natural looking effect. So just go over your whole forehead, especially in the middle, the middle of your nose. And I love to go around my lips to get that warmth back. And now you want to take your sponge and blend everything out. Always use tapping motions. And I love when you connect the cream bronzer to your eyelid and your temples. And look at that, looks gorgeous and very natural so far. When I talk about drugstore blushes, this has to be my favorite. This one is by Essence called Baby Cut Blush, comes in various of shades and really love the formula. I love to warm it up on the back of my hand. Recommend doing the same. Taking the beauty sponge and then go on the top of your cheekbone and slightly over your eyelid and to the temple. Can you see how amazing this blush is? Like how healthy looking my skin looks like right now. Um, truly an amazing formula. If you want more pigment, just go with a warmed up product. So warm it up first with a very, very light pressure. I personally think it makes you look more feminine, more youthful looking and just more fresh and healthy. Also the middle of your nose and the middle of your forehead is a great area to place a blush because it's just gonna make you look more natural and your whole makeup is just gonna pull together as one whole amazing look. And we're one step closer to full glam with drugstore makeup, honey. Now your next step is concealer. And this one is by L'Oreal, the infallible concealer. This is an amazing dupe for tart shaped tape because it's full coverage. It's hydrating. You can feel the skincare ingredients in the formula. It's not drying, but it's really, really full coverage. So I think it's an amazing product. I love to apply it right here, the middle of your forehead, and then going down on the bridge of your nose creating the slimmest line possible, middle of your chin and around your mouth like so. This is the application. I recommend waiting for a little while, for a hot minute or so, for the concealer to dry down. So once you're gonna start blending it out, it's not gonna move and smear across the whole face. So the strategy behind it is basically highlighting only the areas we want to highlight with waiting for your concealer to dry, if that makes sense. I hope it does. So let's just wait for a hot minute. With the same beauty sponge, start blending everything out while looking up. To set everything in place, I love this baking powder by Makeup Revolution. I would say it's a dupe of Huda Beauty, but if I'm honest, Huda Beauty is better and I don't think there's any kind of drugstore product that will beat the formula of Huda's, but this one is very close and on a budget. This is the recommended placement of your baking powder. I would wait about 10 or 15 minutes for everything to marinate and to achieve the brightness, the full potential of the product. And then you just wanna dust it away with a brush, but leave the baking powder on your under eye area for the whole time we're gonna do our eyes. Now it's time for the eyes, and I love this drugstore palette by Milani, the Gilded Palette. The formula is super buttery, therefore very easy to use and to blend. With this dark brown eyeshadow, I'm just gonna define ever so slightly the outer edge. As you can see, this is really gonna lift your eyes and give you that perfect cat eye appearance. Your eyes are already lifted and defined. And the next step is eyeliner. This one is by NYX Cosmetics. It is truly amazing. I have missed the pot 
eyeliner because they're easier to work with. They are more controllable because they don't spill. They're not liquid. And it's just a perfect formula. It's a dupe of Inglot black eyeliner. You want to use a small brush. This one is by Made by Mitchell. You also want to tight line everything. And with a flat brush, you start diffusing the edge of the eyeliner to have that softer kind of line. Your eyes are almost completely finished and the last step is really gonna tie everything together. Therefore, you wanna use a lash and these ones are by Kiss, really amazing drugstore lashes. You're gonna start drawing the individual hair-like strokes with this Maybelline Build a Brow pencil. The next step is the Milani lip liner and it has the perfect buttery formula. It's just gonna glide on your lips and make the perfect outline. And to add depth to your lips, I love the NYX lip liners. They're also amazingly formulated and their texture is just bomb.com. If you love the Too Faced lip plumping glosses, the NYX Duck Plump is an amazing drugstore dupe for you. It also comes in various of shades and colors that's gonna add that oomph to your lips. Dust away the powder under your eyes and for mascara, the Essence Extreme Lashes is an amazingly formulated mascara. It is pitch black and it's just gonna tie your falsies with your real lashes. And your last step is to set your full glam in place I love this L'Oreal setting spray, the infallible one. This is a dupe for the one size and Cryolan setting sprays. Your makeup will stay the whole night with this one. So apply a generous amount. And this is the finished full glam with only the best drugstore makeup. I hope you found this video helpful and valuable. All the products are listed down below in the description box so you can save this video for later and come back anytime. I had a lot of fun filming this video for you so therefore I'm gonna make more videos and I'll see you in my next YouTube video.